Hello YouTubers, it's the 10th of February 2016 and today we've come down the allotment. Uh, yesterday in the high winds, uh, 80 to 100 miles an hour it was, it was just really bad and it, it blew the shed over, the metal shed. Um, because all that was holding it down was sandbags as you can see. Um, so what they're going to do today is they're going to mix up uh, sand and cement and cement it to the foundations and then we won't have to worry about it anymore. There wasn't ha hardly any damage. Something told me to come down and have a look and it was it just blown over uh, as we were coming through the, the gates. So uh, it dented a little bit in the back but n no real damage. So I'll get back to you once they've, they've started that. Michael cemented it to the foundations and uh, all inside all four corners loads of cement in it so I cannot see that moving at all now so we won't have to worry about that anymore now they're just going to pile everything back in the shed and we're going to go home then okay all that's left of the ladies greenhouse it's just completely destroyed completely and she worked so hard and all the glass is all fallen out of it let me see if I can zoom in a little bit show you it's a bit windy I've got a towel around the camera and all the glass is down there a lot of it will be broken and uh, the whole thing is completely destroyed I feel so sorry for her because she worked so hard in putting it together so this this will be our first real season because I think she acquired the, the allotment um, late last season so she still had all the work. It's only a half plot. Uh, it comes to uh, about there. About there. So it's only a half plot. She hasn't even had a chance to work on it. Such a shame. a lot of work to do here but I want to get stuck into the flower bed but it's just too cold at the moment it could be a lot worse I suppose as you see we filled that up the other day oh that's been rotivated once and we'll do it again we've just got this sort of uh, third of the allotment to do Today is the 11th of uh, February 2016 and I'm in the big polytunnel and I wanted to show you what temperature it was. It was 20 degrees when I came in here but obviously it's gone down because I've opened the door. Uh, these are the sweet peas. I didn't get round to water them, watering them so they were looking a bit sad but they'll be fine. Uh, I've given them a water now. Um, all the other plants are fine, yeah. And uh, the sweet williams are doing well. Uh, that's the uh, grapevines. I don't know if they'll survive, or if they've survived, or if they've died, I don't know. But I do see buds on that one down there, so that should be okay. But I'm not so sure about this one. And, um, this other one, still dormant. The Chardonnay one, it's lying on the ground now. It's, it's fallen down, but it'll be fine another branch of it there but uh, plenty of buds on it so it should be fine 
it's a very sunny day today and as you can see this uh, this gets a lot of sunshine so I did lose a few plants a few aquilegias well quite a few because I only got three left but uh, got plenty at, at, in the place done a lot of home and I'm just going to show you at home what I've been up to uh, today I did plant a few things so I'll get back to you in a moment okay I'll show you what I've been up to today I've um, got a little bit done uh, what I've done is uh, I've put two two candles in um, just to warm you know to warm the polytunnel up a little bit but it's quite warm already anyway um, planted up the rest of my onions there we are uh, did my leeks muscle bra um, flower wise I did uh, cosmos and terrinum and then this one is uh, marigolds and calendulas. Uh, I know that um, Julie uh, wasn't sure how to pronounce that uh, flower, but it's pronounced calendulas. Um, nasturtiums in there. And uh, what I've done is I've taken in a few of the winter sowings just to show you uh, what's been going on. Uh, these are marigolds. Jewel is the name of them. And uh, as you can see, there's quite a few there. So I thought I'd bring them in and let them continue growing. Uh, this is basil, but I don't see I don't see anything in it yet. But I've brought it into the warmth. Um, it's a sweet basil. This is uh, aquilegias, and they're growing away nicely in there. And this is Cape Daisies and I'm so surprised that the Cape Daisies were growing in the winter time because they're, they're not very hardy so that was a good thing. Uh, in here is uh, curly, curly kale, there's only a few come up. Um, and then over here um, we've got the giant red poppies, I'll have to pop them up shortly. In here there's asters, but uh, I thought I saw a snail in there and I can only see one aster. But I've got plenty of asters so that's not a, not a problem. Uh, that's the American, the, sorry, the, the spinach America, which I planted on the 9th of December. So I've taken them in here. This is common thyme and uh, there's lots of them in there coming through and also in here is the curly kale and lots of them lots of them coming through and the snail just dropped off the just dropped off one of the the bottles so and that's what I've been up to today and uh, as you can see that's chives and it's just starting to grow again it, well, I saved it from last year, from the allotment, so they're just starting to come through. So, that's what I've been up to today. Not a lot, but uh, yeah. do it day by day and, and we'll soon get there. So, that's all for now folks. Uh, I'm going to take you into the house because I promised one of my subscribers that I would show her how I was pollinating the peppers with the electric toothbrush so I'll just demonstrate that um, when I get back in the house for you okay the bells that I saved from the allotment I didn't want to destroy them so they're almost out and it's only February I'm just going to demonstrate how I would use the electric toothbrush on the peppers
you just have to do this. But if you do it this way, it shapes it better. As you can see. Just pop it on the Be careful, you don't want to knock them off, but there we are, can you see that? Shaking. And that's all there is to it. Doing it that way shakes the you can turn it over and I've been turning it over as well and doing it like that. There we are, that's all there is to it. Let's see if I can see another one. Okay, that's all there is to it.